get that check credited to that. That's all I can do. Ma'am, I just told you. I the understand people what who you told me. need to be on that check aren't in town. Okay. They're for Builders for Christ right now. They're building a building up for Builders for Christ. Yes, sir. I gave you guys a check, my bank, that I've been a member at for many years now, with my business account for many years now. Okay. The check has been returned. I, gave, I, I don't physically have it. I understand that, it but I gave you a check, the same check that has been written out to me from the same people many times. I'm a small business owner. Yes, sir. I need my funds. It's almost $5,000. I need to be able to pay my people. I need to be able to pay my material. Right now, I can't pay my people, and I can't pay, and I can't buy material going forward for other jobs. You are literally caving my company right now. When you were inside the bank, the teller was willing to work with you on that check and deposit in your account. There was going to be and a hold on the And then the teller said, there's a hold on the check in and here. You didn't want to have the she hold said, on. You, she told me, she said, you should try the ATM machine. I'm sure no teller would have told you that because the ATM gives the same holes that we give in here. There's no difference. <clears throat> the only difference that is that the teller was able to negotiate this check because she knows that this is your business and that. The ATM can't see that. Multiple times the tellers in here have told me, especially when it was after hours, they said, go use the ATM outside because if you put it in here, it's not going to go in for two days. Not on this check if for SunTrust. If you go outside, sir. Not then... on this check for SunTrust. And we can debate this back and forth, but it's not going to change what we need today. What we need to do is figure out what we can do for today. And for today, we need to have a replacement check or that check that came in the mail. I can't get you a replacement check. I told you because the people who write those are out of town at Builders for Christ. So what time does your mail come in today? Because they mailed it on the 5th. Today is the night. What time do you get your mail today? Maybe you will have this check and we can try to renegotiate that check. I'm looking for options to get you money. Right now, I can't do it on this conversation. I either have to have a replacement check or this check that you received in the mail to see if we can negotiate that. Those are the two things that's going to get you money <coughs> to that. I have no other options. Yeah, you have all the information off the check right here. Sir, I cannot negotiate it from a copy of a check. It has to be a legal copy that I can deposit. <coughs> now, I can take a picture from my phone of a check and you can deposit it off my phone. But after I've already given you the check and you've got the information and you know that... Joshua, we can debate this back and forth. It's not gonna change what I need. I either need a replacement check or I need to get this check that they sent you back in the mail. Because that check has a stamp on it and said it could be redeposited. I need to get that. Unless I get that, I can't help you. I need something to negotiate the check with. I want to help you with your situation because I totally understand that you need to get credit for the money today. But unless I have a replacement check or the check you received in the mail, I don't have anything I can negotiate with you. So I'm trying to help you, but there's us talking isn't going to change. So we need to come you up know with a check. Here's the. Like, I, I could understand if I if I have been like here for a month, but I've been here for years to the point where there was at one point in time where you guys mistakenly put almost a thousand dollars from somebody else's account into my account yes, that I felt so bad that I came up here and worked on my own time to make sure that we got it back into the right person's account. That's what type of person I am. Joshua, that's why I'm trying to help you, but I'm telling you what I need to work with. But I if gave you guys the check. I deposited the check into your ATM machine. The same check that has been written to me from the same company multiple times, the same way that I've deposited into the ATM machine multiple times. It's not my fault the ATM machine rejected it. Yes, sir. I it's not. what you're saying. They said the previous checks were, uh, the, we saw only one check and was actually made, uh, it was mobile deposit, so you took a picture of the check and this, uh, this item wasn't returned because it wasn't audited. But for, um, you know, this is, cons they consider this as fraud. You cannot deposit a check payable to some... To another name another. different than how you have your account so listed. So the previous check was $750 and was payable, and you actually use your cell phone to and make And then there was deposit. another one for $2,000 before oh. that. Not recently. Like the last... We, he looked the last three months. Because yeah, so. we redid the bathrooms there also. Yes, sir. 
and in the future too you want to have people to make the check payable to your Joshua construction instead of that when I mail. signed up at, at the bank I asked them I told them what my business name was okay. and they signed me up at the bank under their recommendation they said just sign it up as Joshua Clark DBA Pull because because if you have that because most people are going to be able to just write the check to you but then if you have a business name then we can cash the checks under the business name as well okay but it's j and l on here and your account is listed as joshua construction it's not the same name that's not the same name i'm joshua construction joshua clark or joshua clark, joshua clark, construction. clark construction but I just went off of what my banker's recommendation here told me to do. In 2018. Go to his doctor. Joshua, you need to get money today. I suggest call the church, see if they could do an emergency, see if they could they do are out. and check your mail. So nobody's there? Nobody's there? They are in Tennessee doing Builders for Christ. They do, they wrote this check on Friday early for me because they knew that so I needed to pay my to people. Yeah. And they were getting ready to leave. How many uh, business stocks attached to J and L is not on your account. All it is is Joshua. If you look back through there. Multiple J and L have construction checks have been deposited multiple different ways into that account, including the ATM machine. Okay, we still need something to negotiate today. It's got to be that a replacement check or the check you received in the mail. Well, I can't give you those. Okay, then I can't help you. There's nothing I can do. I physically have nothing I can work with. All right. Well, you guys are literally just ruining a small business owner i'm sorry Josh. literally ruining a small business i'm sorry i wish there was something else i can do for you